Welcome back. Taking your phone calls, 412-575-2600 on the Bordis and Bordis hotline. Also taking your tweets at Josh Taylor HD. Want to, want to let everybody know, around 1050, we'll have a very special guest, uh, former Steelers legend, Hall of Famer, and uh, four-time Super Bowl champion, Franco Harris, will join us uh, to talk about the women's uh, football championship promotion. Uh, the top women's football teams in the country competing for the national championship at 7 o'clock this Saturday at Highmark Stadium. It's a family-type event, and halftime show is... Uh, featuring a band, and there's a cornhole challenge with Franco Harris. So if you're a corn, if you're a cornhole pro, compete with Franco. You can do that too. But each night this week, we're giving away four tickets for that women's championship. So the first caller that calls in and asks our producer Rich for the tickets, they are yours to keep to go to Highmark Stadium Saturday for the women's football championship. And Franco Harris will join us to talk about that. So that's in about five or six minutes or so. But in the meantime, we'll get to the phone calls first. Before we do that, we'll start with Rob in the Hill District. Rob, you're on the nightly sports call. Hey, fellas. Hey, listen, I think the Pirates can win this thing. I think we need, we need, two, we need to acquire two more relief pitchers and a left-handed starter. A great, a great left-handed starter, even if you got to give up Austin Meadows. And I think we can win this thing. What y'all think? Uh, your, your wish list is pretty extensive here. Which great left-handed starter are you talking about? You want Kershaw? About? You think the Dodgers might give Ain't him that up? many. I don't think so. And, and plus two really good starters. relievers. Uh, yeah, you know, to get those kind of guys, you got to give up an awful lot, oh. too. Would you give up a Josh Harrison? Um, I mean, you're going to have to give up something to get something at this point. And to, to, to great that left-hander. I love those. Those don't grow on trees. It, that's my point, because you could probably name the great left-handers on your hand right now, and one of them just got back from an injury in Madison Bumgarner, and he's probably not going anywhere. I don't Giants think so. aren't letting him go. I don't think Kershaw might be going anywhere He's either. not going anywhere either. The Dodgers aren't letting him go. So there aren't many of them laying around for the Pirates to, uh, to obtain. The bullpen part, the two bullpen arms part, that might be possible because there's a handful of teams that are out of it. There's quite a few names that have been bandied about already. That might be a little bit more possible. The left-handed starter, at least the great one, Man, just by the numbers alone, by the, the law of average, it's probably a little bit more complicated. But uh, Billy in Oakland, you're up next. You're on the nightly sports call. Yeah, you know, Ron, if, if the Yankees were at this point, they'd be definite buyers in, in, this, in this league because they know they got a shot to win. And another thing is, you said Latang was... And you're wrong, and you're wrong. <laughs> Someone was really bored tonight, huh? Like, uh, the the Pirates aren't the Yankees, that's just for sure. Just to complain, eh? The Pirates aren't the Yankees. You're never going to live that down, are you? That's all right. Okay. I'll live with it. Yeah, fair enough. It's my call. Fortune favors the people, bowl. People in the organization still tell me they can't believe they beat Washington without Latang. Fortune I'll live with that bowl. one. Uh, you know, they're, they're not the Yankees. They can't do what the Yankees can do. They're not going to give up a zillion prospects to take a run at this thing. They're not going to do it because if the Yankees do that, then they, they lose. They'll go out and buy the next player. It's starting to feed Pirates aren't right. going to do that. I've developed a theory when it comes to expectations for the Pirates. When you're trying to compare the Pirates to teams like the Yankees and the Dodgers and the Cubs and wonder why they happen. fall short, it's because they're not like those teams. It's like the Albert Einstein quote. If you judge a fish by its ability to ride a bike, it's going to res re live the rest of its life thinking it's stupid. That, that's all I'm saying. It, it's hard to compare apples and oranges. It just does not work. Rick in Lawrenceville. Rick, you're on the nightly sports call. Hey, man. How you doing? Doing all right. How are you? Uh, good. I'd like to talk about the um, parts relievers. Okay. We already got rid of Hanrahan, Grilly, Melanson, and we got Watson and Hudson. Of course, um, Rivera. He's, he's pretty good. But you know what? This almost reminds me of Kevin McClutchy, where he got rid of all good players because he cut the salary, and we're going back to that, whether it be Nutting and Conley. Um, I think they're trying to... I don't know what he's even talking about here. All the pitchers you talk about them getting rid of, Hanrahan never did anything after he left here. He got hurt. Grilly was washed up by the time he left here. Melanson came in and was much better than Grilly was. And, and they make a trade with Grilly to get, uh, I mean, excuse me, Melanson, to get, to get Felipe, uh, Felipe Rivero. That, that's the Why part, would you be complaining about those things? That's the things? part you're leaving out because those pitchers you mentioned, usually one was jettisoned to bring in the next one. Hanrahan brought back Melanson. Melanson brought back Rivero. I don't understand. I have no idea what he they was trying to say They used the previous there. guy to pick up the next guy, and it right. worked. 
Right. Bad example if you're trying to talk about bad moves to save money. I'll give you another step further. The, the Nationals went that far to take that risk to get Mark Melanson, and they couldn't re-sign him because the Giants outbid them. Who do you think the Washington Nationals would like to have right now? Oh, they kill you for think Rivera. they like Felipe Rivera, Ron? I think you know what? Like I, I don't think Rivera. they probably regret making the trade last year because they took a shot and, and thought they could win a World Series. Well, they didn't. Melanson leaves. They but, would kill for Rivera. But here, here's, here's the point I'm trying to make here because people think that the Pirates just jettisoned Mark Melanson for money purposes when Washington couldn't even re-sign him right. because the Giants threw more money at him. He got the richest contract for a closer. Let's put that out there. That's how much money San Francisco put up to get Mark Melanson. I got to point that part out. Got to take a break. We got Franker Harris waiting on the line. So we'll see you back here in just a few moments. Stick around.